Hello? Today I'm going to show you how I made the cheapest alarm system ever with a motion sensor that we can control through WhatsApp and if we get robbed, it starts streaming on YouTube. I wanted to install a camera system at home, but they were always very costly, especially because you not only had to buy the cameras themselves, but also a system that captures them and stores them on a hard drive. This video continues from my last one, where I demonstrated integrating my smart doorbell with WhatsApp. If you haven't watched it, I suggest doing so for better context on this video's content. Anyway, the idea then is to make a cheap but efficient camera system. We'll use ESP32 cams as the foundation for all of that. These are basically a combination of a small processor, a Wi-Fi board, and a little camera, which we can program as we like, and each one costs only $5. We're going to upload custom code to it that will let us access the camera in real time, like streaming, and this is super easy. The camera lacks a USB port and has pins instead, but don't worry. Using one of these programmers, which are super cheap, and some cables, we're going to connect each one, as shown in the following photo. They're all labeled, and it's super easy to identify them. Then, now we connect our programmer to the computer via USB. And we open the file I left for you in the description with the Arduino program. Once open, go to File Greater Than Preferences and enter the Uniform Resource Locator provided in the description to copy and paste. Then we go to Tools, Boards, Boards Manager, search for ESP32, and install the only one that appears. Then again, go to Tools. Select the option labeled iThinker ESP32CAM. To finish, go to Tools, and where it says Port, select the one that appears for you, in my case, Communications 3. Before uploading, Let's edit the Wireless Fidelity CASEH file by adding your Wireless Fidelity network information. Click the arrow to upload, and that's it. If it stays like this, on connecting, you just need to press the reset button on the back of the camera, then disconnect this little cable, press that same reset button again, and click the magnifying glass in the program. The message provides a uniform resource locator copy and paste it into your browser. You'll now see the live camera feed. Save the IP for later use. Now the other challenge was to detect movement with the camera so we can be alerted in case of a possible theft. For that, I thought of two options. Simply use the camera to take two photos, one second apart, and then use software to compare the two photos. The photos had to be identical, and if they weren't, it was clearly because someone was there. But that method wasn't very efficient for me. After trying it for a while, I decided to use an infrared system. I decided to use an infrared sensor. These cost just a few cents and work very well. So we're going to solder it to the camera. As you can see in the picture, it's just three wires, and now the camera will simply give a signal when there's movement. It's that easy. Now I wanted to control and be able to see the cameras wherever I am. And for that, I thought of using WhatsApp once again. As suggested in my previous video, Telegram is even simpler to use, but I personally don't use it, so it didn't make sense to me for practical reasons. I used a Raspberry Pi 3 with Raspberry Operating System Lite and basic libraries installed for this entire project, along with software that lets me interact with WhatsApp Web and create my own application programming interface. I explained this in my last video. I wrote a JavaScript script that manages all the cameras. And it's very easy since we just need to edit it with any text editor like Notepad. And then we add all the cameras we want. In my case, I use three, but you can add as many cameras as you want and you just need to enter the IP address, which we mentioned earlier. The script will be constantly checking if there is movement in any of the cameras and if it detects movement. It will send us a WhatsApp message with a photo of what it detected and what we want to do. We can deactivate it, activate the alarm, or set it to stream. But I'll mention this in a moment. Also, if we send a camera emoji, we'll see all the cameras we have online, as well as a link to watch them live. What if we're connected to our Wi-Fi network? And what if we're not connected to that Wi-Fi network? We just send the letter B, 
followed by the camera number, and it will give us a link so we can watch it live from anywhere in the world. If we send the letter G followed by the camera number and the number of seconds, we will receive a video from the camera for the number of seconds we want, and if we send an F and the camera number, we will receive a photo from the desired camera. The good thing about all this is that everything is stored on WhatsApp, so we're using WhatsApp as a completely free cloud server, since the videos and photos will stay there for whenever we want to download them. Now, going back to streaming, this is a feature that might not be that useful for everyone, but I, I found it interesting. I set up an inactive YouTube stream with a title implying I was being robbed. And I copied the stream key, pasted it into my code, just like you can paste your own stream key. And if I tell the camera to stream via WhatsApp, is it going to start broadcasting the robbery of my house live on my channel? I hope one of my 250,000 subscribers who knows me sees this and saves my house. If we activate the alarm, we can do whatever we want. Or now that I modified my doorbell, I can make deterrent sounds play through the speaker or anything else we can think of. To finish, I put the little cameras inside these fake cameras. They also have a red LED that turns on and off, which looks nice. And I placed the cameras in the parts of my house where I wanted them. And uh, that's it. When the cameras detect movement and the alarm system is activated, we'll get a photo. And from there, we'll decide what action to take. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.